Ah, this time the credits double as the previously on recap. Dick Purcell, the least reliable battery brand. I've been trying to get a gardening grant for months, but it's all tied up in bureaucracy. The name Lorna Gray sounds like a fake actor who's a parody of Myrna Loy, but Gail is no Nora Charles. Ask your Dr. Maldor if monocles are right for you. You know what? I take back what I said about Gruber. Why is Mayor Randolph still in the credits? Like, at least Gruber shows up each time. Where's the mayor? What goes on in this city? The musical about John Hamilton wasn't nearly as big a hit. Jay Novello, he played Grandfather Sarducci. Now that I've seen the motorcycle footage in context, it's exactly as boring as I thought it would be. John English Elmer Clifton, his name is my name too. Chapter 5, Blade of Wrath, which is still in development hell like all Marvel Blade movies. So, you're watching an 80-year-old serial. Again. Is it just me, or do the shape of Cap's eye holes look like a really bad racist caricature? When I was younger, just a bad little kid. Thursday, Friday, happy days! Watch out for snakes! The bookmobile stops for no one. Look, up in the sky! He's not even flying, Debbie! He's just standing on a cliff! He's teen wolfing. Back to America. Give me that wheel. Oh, nobody's that excited to watch this version of Cap. I'm pulling over and asking for directions. Truck top yoga is challenging, but it is so worth it for what it does to your core. Just gotta hold first place and hope no one else gets a blue shell. Look at him crouching like he's Spider-Man. He's not even really Captain America. I feel like climbing into the driver's side would have been easier, but hey, I'm not the district attorney. So, just to recap, they had to recover this truck at any cost because it would take too long to duplicate the technology, but the second they get it back, they're okay blowing it up in a kamikaze attempt to kill one dude. And he electrocutes himself trying to break the autopilot. He fixed the steering, but the brakes still don't work. Okay, we're back to cliffhangers that just cut out Cap escaping by escaping. A self-driving and exploding truck. I'm telling you, Elon got everything from this film. If any of those sciences involve crab experiments, I gotta introduce you to last month's guest. From the museum. You gotta speak more clearly if you're gonna pick just up. Moment, please. This is oh. Why are they in the Tower of Terror lobby? Hello, Dodge. I have just decided to go to South America with the Fletcher Expedition. The Flynn Fletcher Expedition? Aren't they a little young to go to South America? Stand being under the constant threat of death from the scallop. Yeah, exploring uncharted jungles is much safer. You've been to a terrible orgy. A terrible orgy? Oh, well, Lionel would know. Yes, my ship sails at four in the afternoon. I wonder what's for would you dinner. Crown jewels in time for me to turn them over to my dealer. He won't give me the good Sorry. stuff unless I pay him in jewels. Is there anything else? No, thank you. The district attorney is attending to all the arrangements. Oh, then you're screwed. A police guard here until I leave. Which should definitely help this time. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Better de monocle before I monologue. It should be simple to work with them now. As opposed to earlier when they showed such intelligence. This is an assignment for Agent M32. How many henchmen do you have? I make a reservation on the Hermosa. And he struck the steamship line to call for his truck at his rooming house. And make sure they don't fade out before I put my monocle back in. Uh-oh, here comes the Toon Patrol. do 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 Oh, God, the sun is blinding me! Come in, Doctor. No, you invited him in, and he's a vampire, probably, since this episode has Blade in the title. Oh, here comes Tarantino's cameraman. That's not how you open a jack-in-the-box. Here is a list of the jewels. You'll find the collection intact. 
They might smell like I've been rubbing them on my naked body, but they're intact. Precious stones that women love and die for. I hate it when he gets poetic. Would you sign this receipt, please? Next order of business, fire our focus puller. Hey, boss, look at me. I'm a film noir shadow. Thank you. I hope your trip will make you forget the horrible experiences you had. And make you forget the obvious signs that I'm the scarab. The district attorney would have caught the scarab. I'll keep trying. But I am really bad at my job. Hello? Uh, I don't live here, but I assume the refrigerator's running. I'll check their credentials at the house. It's the express man for your baggage. Well, bon voyage. That's my favorite Peanuts movie. So, Doctor, tell me about these parties you've been having. You're not invited. Suckers, I'm skipping the expedition and going to Bermuda. He's been under constant armed guard for weeks and doesn't lock the window. This is my audition for the Royal Shakespeare Company to play Brutus. They're gonna leave this truck outside the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Oh, please show them parking and opening the doors. Don't trim a second of this. I'm guessing that's a scarab, but in this lighting, for all I could see, it could be a pog slammer. Man, the grown-up reboot of Legends of the Hidden Temple sucks. All right, man. The Mario Thanks. Brothers. The oh. This was the most efficient way to catch a ride before they invented Uber. Wow, he didn't even need Slinky Dog's help to get into the truck. This trunk is going all the way to Timbuktu. Nothing to see here, nobody inside this other box. Well, another day's work done. Time to go home and see if I can make my suit even boxier. Aren't these guys missing a stooge? We just saw a murder and it still feels like even less is happening than usual. Oh no, Inspector Clouseau slipped on the globe and fell! An unused Chuck E. Cheese token! He would have wanted me to play skee ball with this. Is the truck being fumigated? How did he hear that over the music? Hello, Sergeant? Professor Dodge has been murdered. And we're back to Cap, failing to stop murders. Never change cereal. Pulled out and headed north. Have your men search every inch of the house and grounds. I'm going after that truck. Search the ground. I said the ground. Look down, fella. Good thing Grant got a new car after that crash, I guess. So, basically, the past four episodes were entirely about keeping Professor Dodge safe, and now he's unceremoniously killed while Cap is in the other room. I'm glad we did all that meandering to get to this point. Everyone else's luggage misses the boat, but at least Grant already let the bad guy get away. I want to take a look inside this truck. But all that's back there is Dr. Hale working on his patent papers. How'd that trunk get open? I don't know. He's on third. When we put Mr. Dodge's baggage in, Dodge has been murdered. And the man who did it hid in that trunk and then got out somewhere along this road. If you say so. Who shipped it? I don't know. There you are, John Taylor. The basis for Duran Duran? But he checked out and was just leaving when we made the pickup. Naturally, he would. You finish your route, then bring that trunk to my office. It'll be checked for fingerprints. I don't know. Meanwhile, at the Daily Planet, Lois has locked Clark in a supply closet. Did they have any luck, Chief? Yes. Bad luck, but still luck. Get me the police commissioner immediately. The fingerprints on the trunk identified Taylor as Lefty Harper, a criminal with a long police record. I'm going to start a search for him. Hello? I gotta sit down for this. I want a dragnet thrown out for Lefty Harper, alias John Taylor. He was found dead in his car half an hour ago, shot through the head. And you're to blame. At the morgue. The car is downstairs, back at police headquarters. We looked it over. So this off-camera murder of a character we've never met is given equal weight as the murder of the guy we've been trying to protect this whole time. Good. What's the address? Helen's gas station. Helen's gas station? Miss Crump took over for Wally? Is she going to give Gomer and Goober raises? 
Yeah, I serviced that car and delivered it around the corner. To the this guy's the prototype of the Law & Order crate unloader. Fiber Box Company, when you want your cereal and its box to be equally nutritious. A week two and then quit. That's all I can tell you. Because I can't give any more exposition with my line delivery. Your telephone. Sure. We're about to witness an actress firing her agent mid-scene. What the hell is that thing? Hello? Ooh, it's a two-sit-down phone call kind of day. Where are you? Five box company. Taylor was a transit worker here, but he left. They don't know anything more about him. That's what they say. That's what she said. We're dealing with clever criminals. Well... Now, let's try something like... Oh, okay, something like... Let me jot that address down. 1313 Mockingbird Lane... I'll go right over. Ah, now he can eavesdrop on the people he already seems to know are criminals, I guess. Norm! Well, Miss Richards. Okay, is any business in this city not a front for the scarab? What's she doing here? She was asking about Taylor. Why are the footsteps mics better than the people? This is the girl who works with Captain America. And also the DA. Weird, right? She's going to tell us who Captain America really is. Why? How would that information help you? No. You can change your mind. Yeah, yeah, the Mechanical Monsters guy said it better. Show her how that paper cutter works. Well, you put the paper in here and... Oh, you mean as a threat. So, did the eavesdropping matter? Like, did he wait to go until he heard Matson's voice, or was he on his way anyway? Not to 50! This is an intense remake of Making Books. Ah, the Marie Antoinette special. Gages are back. Feels good to be home. It's such a fine line between tension and tedium. And at this point, we're about 15 blocks past that line. So if you don't tell us, we'll use this to improperly slice cheese for your sandwich. Works just like a guillotine. A guillotine. It can also cut a quesadilla. No. Had to think about it, though. You'll change your mind when that blade starts down towards her neck. Tie her up. Gail, I'm pretty sure you can run now. He wouldn't shoot you. He just hit you with the butt of his gun. The driving montages in the serial really make me miss the boring phone call scenes. Uh, Hitchcock cameo. Now it's a guillotine. <laughs> Can I be dead now? The Bride of Frankenstein. Ooh, Nigel Tufnell's going to be excited in a second. I did not expect a reference to Christopher Guest roles directed by Rob Reiner in this scene. Wait, why does it have a built-in emergency brake? She's got more nerve than I figured. Wait, what's all this about fingering her nerves? Well, let's put it up to him. So now she knows you're bluffing when you threaten her. Good strategy. Someone went mini golfing and didn't invite me. Who used this phone last? The girl. She left the connection open so they could hear it. For some reason. Got to get her away fast. A real hero to fight? In America. Ah well. Ah, they're playing our song. I was hoping to save our breakaway chair for later, but. Look, this fight scene is fine now, but it's really going to sing when we watch it again in the recap. Strange reenactment of Matthew 2112. The wide shots are making me more confused geographically. Captain property damage. Should I look interested? This, as you may recognize, is a map of the United States. She could have escaped by now. The rope's not that tight. So, like, what's the end game for all this? For the bad guys, I mean. I know Dr. Maldor is taking his revenge on everyone else from that expedition, but they're all dead now, right? So now what, he's just trying to get rich? But he's already rich enough to have all these other henchmen on his payroll and set up all these fronts? Just, when will enough be enough? Oh, good, Cap knocks that guy into the switch, so if Gale dies, it gets added to Cap's kill count. 
don't have the heart to live in the fast lane. Dale, you can save yourself, right? I'm having fun over here. Oh, finally, box shenanigans in this box company fight. Okay, the paper cutter is slower than Snidely Whiplash's sawmill. Meanwhile, the boys are playing in a box fort. I don't care, just end it all now. Vault of Vengeance, only on the next episode of Amazon's Fallout. Ah, this time it's Gale who's facing certain doom at a cliffhanger, not Cap. This time, Gale's the one who definitely will die and won't be revealed to have just moved slightly at the last possible second before that last shot that we see. This is good for representation. I would like to thank my patrons for both their continued financial support and for joining me on a few Patreon live streams to brainstorm jokes for this rip. Yes, these fine folks here loaded joke opportunities up into the truck, which fortunately were not then stolen by stowaways. If you would like to join the next live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And at $2, you can see the next riff. It's about a bus ride through rural Pennsylvania. I am really selling this, aren't I? Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go check my luggage for hidden murderers. So until next time, this is Dave, signing off.